Well, whew, by Joe. I thought I was going to be able to do some work today, but just making these videos, that's plenty of work that I needed to get taken care of before I started working on these doors. I know the types of things I need to do now. I think I've got most of the stuff. In fact, one of the things I know I need to go to the store uh, to get is some little finished nails. And I had some, but we just moved. So I'm not quite sure if I have any of those finished nails um, handy. And if I don't, I'll just pick up a, one little box of finished nails, uh, six penny finished nails, I think, for me to get those uh, self-closing hinges out and adjusted. And then I need to, I know I need to get two strike plates, the door strike plates. So I'll probably end up taking one of these strike plates out before I leave and uh, run to the store on the way home so that tomorrow I'm here bright and early so I can start working on these doors. See you then. Oh, that's right. I think I need to get a wood rasp for my drill, too, to lower that one strike plate and rasp out the bottom of that. And I need to get one of those anyways, because I'm not sure where I have one, if I can put my hands on it. So thanks for reminding me. Well, here we are at the house again. And... I'm going to be working on doors today and this is the particular project we have for today is this particular door right here this goes out into a little utility area and I want to fix these doors because we're getting ready to paint and if you watch the other video that I did you'll see on this particular door see how the edge of the door is rubbing it's, it's rubbing right there. But before I say this is um, sagging and I have to fix the hinges, I look over here at the hinge and yes, in fact, I do have to fix the hinge because see, it's loose from the door. So before you get all gung-ho, think you're going to have to do all kinds of tricky stuff. Look at your doors because you see that hinge right there? It's loose. See there? Only one screw in there, for some reason the screw is almost out and these two screws are missing. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get up there and I'm hoping that I have some screws. I went to the store. And where are those screws, by the way? I brought everything in here to have a little staging area. It's over here somewhere. I brought all my, all my different stuff in. You need to get a bag like this and put all your tools in it. I've got another bag here. And, oh, okay. I went to the store. I got some different screws here, some wood screws to match up. And I actually got a size that's just a hair bigger than what I need to in case, in case I use the same size and if it's already stripped and if the screw's gonna spin once I put it in those two missing ones up there, then I can use the next size up. I think that size is a number six or eight. You go to the store, you can find all kinds of stuff. See, that's a number eight by inch and a quarter, and I got some number 10 by inch and a quarter, and I got a number 10 by one inch, and I'm hoping one of those is gonna work, and if not, I'll think about doing something else, one, one thing at a time, and uh, I think I actually, I actually uh, found this, too. You can buy a little pack like this at the store with different size screws, and I might, might end up having to use something out of here so okay so I'm gonna get up there and then if that doesn't work you remember what I was gonna do and take the door down and then I might uh, take the, the that actual hinge and glue it glue it on there and get it to stick that way because this door is a hollow core door if it was a solid core door I could just use the same type of screw and just a little bit longer and just ram it all the way in like it like an inch and a half inch and three-quarter even two inch in case it was stripped right out to there, you put a longer screw in there and get another bite into the wood. But there's a solid, a side style piece in here that holds the door all together. Then it's hot, then this particular door is hollow. And I can tell it's, see up here, right there is hollow. So I might be able to use like an inch and three quarter screw. And I got something 
uh, maybe an inch and a half, inch and three quarters long. So I'll, I'll try different things. All right, let's get up there and uh, see what I can do with that. Uh, I'm supposed to work up there, but I'm going to start right here. And I'm going to take one of these screws out. If you have a battery operated drill, you can do it that way too. But I, I like this little guy. Okay, so now I have this screw. I can match it up to what I have. And... Um, see whether or not I need more up there, okay? Because there was only one up here, so I'm, since I'm right here, I'm gonna continue this, this video, no tricks or anything. I just want you to see, you know, whatever, whatever I'm doing, you can do the same. That is, if you have the same thing like this, and I don't like using my my battery operated drill, I do have one, but I don't like doing that because it might strip. And sure enough, see this, this screw is just spinning in there, see? It's not tightening up at all. And I believe these other ones are doing the same thing. So I'm taking that screw that I just took out and I'm going to put that one in there. See, if I put this in with a battery operated drill, can you see that it could start stripping. Now, oh, good, good. Yeah, that one went. That one's snug. That's good. I like that. Okay. Let's see. I'm hoping this top one, this top screw, is not stripped. Maybe it's just the middle one. And then I might just have to get. Good. See, that's tight. Nice. It's just that middle screw. So what I can do is I can come back down, maybe down to this, this one. I'm just going to take out the middle screw. Okay. And I'm not going to go around and check every door that I work on, but you, you can periodically, if you want, you can check these, you know, to see if they need to be, see if they need to be tightened, because once they start getting loose, you could have a, see that, that bottom one was loose, you could have a possibility of your door sagging, especially on your top hinges, let's say, okay. first I say, maybe, I won't do that on, on all the doors, but it only takes a, a minute to do that. And since I'm working on each door, you know, on the doors that I'm going to be working on, the ones that are rubbing and certain things, I can check them. Now, see this? Look at that. I'm glad I'm checking this because all three of those screws are, are spinning. Okay, so I know. Well, I wasn't even going to check that. I, I'm going to take those out and then I can, I can uh, find other screws that are a little bit bigger. Because see, you think, what's the difference? If, as long as you get this tight, well, the door after a while, when the door is closed, it could start sagging because these screws could start pulling out a little bit. And then these are causing, could cause the door to, to sag instead of these particular hinges location of the you know, seems like I gotta get this out better the, the hinge is sticking out just a little there and it's not wasn't supposed to when I had that when I was tightening that up it went went over just a little bit I'm not sure why that happened Still looks like it's it's not. That's I think it's doing that because once I get, once I get that screw in, that's going to push it in tight. It should be should be a little better than that. See, it's sticking out, and that 
just that little bit, it's sticking out less than a sixteenth, but just that, that little bit could cause the door to, to not uh, come over as far as I want because this door was, remember this door was hitting, rubbing that, so if I'm gonna fix this, I might as well do it right. You know what I mean? I'm thinking, I'm wondering what's going on right in there. I wanted to make sure there was nothing in the way there. Okay, just checking. Okay, see it's flush there. Wow, okay. That's silly. I got the other screws in my hand. I'm trying to, trying to do that. Can you see me? Okay, I guess you can see it. Make it sure. this one screw out see the length of it I'll try to get one a little bit longer and if that doesn't work I get one that's just a hair bigger than that all right let's see what I can come up with <laughs> 